Hey everybody, what's going on? This week on One Tool a Week, guy, we're going to be taking a look at Spider's 14-piece carbide tip hole saw kit. So, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week, guy. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, I needed to buy a whole saw kit for some wood and I ended up picking up a new whole saw kit. So that whole saw kit was going to be this baby right here. And this is going to be the Spider 14 piece carbide tip whole saw kit, as you can see. Now I will say prices. I usually say the price at the end or in the subscription or in the description below. And on Amazon, you're going to be able to find it for $137.02. And of course, if you go to Lowe's or have a Lowe's around you, they are on sale right now. You're going to be able to find it for $100 or $99. So with that being said, guys, let's get to it and let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, the set is going to be a 14-piece set and it's going to come in this nice case right here. And of course, you're going to have two latches right here that you go ahead and open it up. So let's open this baby up. And here you go, guys. Guys, this is going to be the set that it comes with. Now, I did pick up the spider because I was looking at the Milwaukee carbide tip that I was gonna purchase the hole saw, but it didn't. Ha it was missing a couple hole saws that I probably needed. Uh, I did like the case, but you were looking at almost uh, about eighty to ninety dollar difference than buying this set. So, of course, the fourteen piece is going to come with the sizes that are gonna be in here are going to be, first up is going to be inch and three eighths right here, which I happen to use up. Uh, you're also going to get inch and a half, which is right here, this one. And then the next one, you're gonna get two inch right here. You're gonna get two and a half, two and three quarters, a three inch, a three and a half, a four inch, a four and a quarter. And of course, last but not least, you're going to get a four and a half inch whole saw right here carbide tip which as you can see it's going to be plenty for everybody that's if you're doing residential or commercial you're going to have a good selection now what's the reason that you're going to go with a carbide a uh, whole saw well carbide whole saws are going to be able to penetrate a good amount of as far as wood plastic pvc cement fiber board if you've ever tried drilling through a cement fiber board with a regular metal hole saw you're gonna see that it eats up the teeth and it pretty much just stays flat and on top of that it's also gonna be able to drill through brick and ceramic wall tile so if you're doing anything in that sector then i would highly recommend picking up this set because believe me i've drilled through bricks already and they do drill great and it's a great circle now of course the next items that are also going to be included in that set is going to be the inch and a quarter hex speed steel bit right here now as you can tell the bit is going to be a bit longer but we'll get to that in a little bit right now and then of course you're going to get one half by hex tungsten carbide bit so let me see if we could zoom in. There's the two different bits that you're going to get that we can penetrate to brick or wood or PVC. Um, they're both going to do the job. And last but not least, you're going to get an arbor. Now, I did have another arbor that I went ahead and purchased. And that's because I tried drilling to the metal because my other hole saws wouldn't go through. And I ended up breaking a bit and it ended up coming with the whole set so i had to pick it up now a reminder is that it's not a common uh bit that you're gonna have to use with this set you actually need the spider bits and you're either gonna have to find a lowe's that's open or wait the next day uh because or whoever's a rep for spider having to find these bits for you now of course the installation process is going to be this you are going let me zoom in you are going to have this arbor right here and of course it has a nice little logo right there for the spider you're going to be able to press it now the purpose of that is that you go ahead and slide this right in there you're going to see the groove notch and after that you press the button and it's going to latch right right there so once it latches uh you're able to uh, have it connected now of course let's go ahead and pull this out and you're gonna go ahead and put your bit and you're gonna pull this section right here and once you pull it uh, it's gonna move the grooves to the back and you go ahead and just 
and you hear it latch and it connected after that you, there you go you're gonna have your hole saw and you're gonna be able to drill it now once you drill and you have something stuck in there it is going to be quick release so all you've got to do is press this button or go forward and it'll push out or if you pull it back it's gonna be able to slide off and you're gonna be able to push it out which is a neat feature it's going to be the rapid core ejection now let's say you went ahead and drilled the hole that you needed to be larger or uh, you need to enlarge it and it, the hole that you had made was a bit smaller then you could go ahead and they have their uh enlarging hole which is you could connect it to the bit right there and now you're gonna have the same size that you had and if you need to make it larger uh you won't be having the arbor jumping all the way around it's actually going to make that circle right there and it's going to line you out and you're going to be able to make an enlarged hole that way you could uh, go ahead and make the right cut for it now keep in mind you could always go larger but you can't go smaller so uh if you drill the wrong hole and it's too large uh sorry to say you're either gonna have to patch it up or figure it out on your own how to how to get that patched up so of course guys like i said i had to drill some holes and i picked this setup and it's been working great i don't recommend it for metal it's not made for metal so if you want to drill out some metal or stainless steel you're gonna need some different uh hole saw so of course a quick question for y'all from me is what is it that y'all use to drill tile as far as holes if y'all could leave me in the comments below what type of bits y'all use for tile that would definitely help out a whole lot so with that being said guys we are almost at 3,000 subscribers so you know what that means we'll be giving away a Vito pro pack backpack so as always guys let me know what y'all think in the comments below and thank y'all for watching one tool a week guys. <laughs>